All right, hey everybody, and welcome to the 90 Mac Life Drawing class that happens every Wednesdays at 9 a.m. Pacific Time, 12 p.m. Eastern Time. My name is Bobby Chu, and I also have on here my co-host Kay Asadera, as well as guest artist Anthony Francisco. So, let's go to the board now. Oops. All right, and there's a bunch of stuff already. Some people are warming up. Anthony is uh, warming up with Kay. So. Here's how it goes, okay? Super simple, we're gonna do 90 minutes of drawing. One, uh, four one minute poses, four two minute poses, four five minute poses, and five 10 minute poses, and then we're done. Okay, you can ask your questions. We're live on the Lightbox Expo Discord this time, so you could join us in there, or you can go to slido.com, hashtag, uh, 90 Mac, and then you could ask your questions there or upvote any questions in there as well. Okay, so shall we clear the board and uh, start with the first one minute pose? Yes, we are. How do I clear? clear um, my just eyeball. where it says normal, you could click on. Oh, okay, there you go. All right, so here we go. First one minute pose starting now. Ooh. Tried to move them to the side a little bit so we have a bit more room together. This was actually the little pose that I did for the uh, title page. This is the one minute one? Yes, one minute. 30 seconds uh, left as well. So. Is. So that's the first one minute pose. And the next pose is starting super soon. Second one minute pose. You know, this is a yoga, uh, the subject is yoga, by the way, in case I didn't mention it. But I also added in some yogis in here uh, later on, somewhere in there. Oh, cool. Yeah, so there'll be some nice kind of character opportunities as well. Also, I mention this every time, but it's important. It doesn't matter what you do, okay? It doesn't matter if your drawing is not up to your standards or something. It just matters that you're trying to put in that effort. Okay, next one minute pose. Starting now. Mm, that looks like a good stretch. Yeah. I think that's why I put it in here. <laughs> I was like, I need to do that. I remember um, when I was learning how to do this quick sketch poses, it's like they were talking about the envelope idea where you sketch out the outline first and then you kind of break the, you know, the basic shape and then you break them down oh, to, okay. yeah, it's very fun. I've, I've never heard um actually i feel like i have heard envelope but i i didn't know what that referred to um i call it the blocking method but yeah yeah it's the same um mat not massing in the yeah blocking in the form before you mass it in wow that went by really quick mm -hmm. 
Okay, third one minute pose is done. We're gonna go to the next one. Last one minute pose. Challenging. <laughs> right? These are challenging. These are kind of challenging. challenging. It's also a nice reminder to go and do your stretches today. Yeah. I went to the gym yesterday. I'm so sore. I haven't gone running in like two years, like since before the pandemic. to two minute poses already fast. so fast totally yeah <laughs> this is the kind of yoga i like it's nice and simple <laughs> <laughs> nice and peaceful have any of you uh, did some yoga before I do yoga with Kay's mom, um, like uh, every morning. We took a oh, yeah, break, nice. but uh, we're starting back up uh, April first. It's good. I really enjoy it. Sometimes it's just nice to have an excuse to stop doing anything. Yeah. <laughs> Right, especially like you get older and there's like, there's always stuff to do. I feel like it's related to getting older because you just get more responsibilities and such. You've gotten to this point where it's time to relax. You've been working all, all your life. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes it can yeah, be I... hard to turn it off because you pretty much mm, train yeah. yourself to do that, right? Like you were mentioning, uh, Anthony, about like when you were working at Marvel and you would get up extra early just so you can spend some time with your uh, family after work. Yeah, like I'm actually able to do that um, during the pandemic was awesome. So there's so much work that I had to, it wasn't balanced for sure. Um, I saw this uh, little, what do you call this? Uh, reel that said, it's about working out. This one guy says, uh, 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 you have to, ah, uh, fuck. I'm sorry, I forgot how, how he said it. Um, it's like, you have to force yourself to get up to work out. I have to force myself to stop and and take a break from working out. We are not the same. That's what he said. That's um, but you could change it. But I thought, oh, I'll relate that to what you said with the art stuff, right? Sometimes you have to, you, uh, at this point, you have to stop yourself from doing this too much. Um, and take a break. You know what's funny? Like, where? what other profession have you heard of where it's like um, people will take a vacation to work on their own art projects? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Nobody does that except for artists. But I've heard that many times where people are like, yeah, I'm taking a vacation. There's this art project I want to work on. Yeah. That yeah sounded almost like uh, <laughs> I, I've been outed. <laughs> yeah, it really is. 
an or or you know a job where you it's just so addicted I think I'm I realize I'm obsessed with uh, is upset or addicted to just keep on drawing keep on creating um, that's what I was saying it's sometimes you, you can't turn it off um, I think a lot of us relate to that yeah a lot of times that's how you got to where you are yeah yeah it's like you needed that and that's what everyone's trying to get to right to that point where you could just go just finish just create It's ready. Oh, yeah. Hey, uh, Bobby. Uh, yes. And uh, uh, I, I just checked the YouTube audio comparing some to Discord. And I don't know why, but uh, Anthony sounds like an overlord. <laughs> like his sound is so loud in comparison to you. And Kay is so... Uh, uh, Thank you. We can barely hear you. I yeah. will. Yeah, it's it's so manly. Um, <laughs> let, me, let me put it on this side. Maybe my mic's too close. How about this one? I've, I've turned you way down. Thank you for okay. letting us know, YouTube. Uh, my apologies. Thank you. I, I wonder why that happened. Oh, maybe it's the yeah, Discord. Gosh, why am I erasing? <laughs> I got distracted. Um, nice. Good job, Patricia. Yes, that's right. <laughs> I, I, I'm so manly now. I just I want to hear how I sound. Uh, now I'm normal voice. You got your Darth Vader voice on. The hard pose. I, I already feel the stretch just looking at this. I know, right? Do you guys ever get to do any of these kind of poses? Can Can't you do, do this? this. <laughs> no. No. Like, I, I've definitely um, gotten r really flexible, but not like this. Maybe you're more flexible now than you used to be, like, when oh, you were younger. Oh, like, way more. Yeah, just a little every day, and then that's all it takes, and then you get really, really flexible. Oh, that's awesome. I just do like a free YouTube kind of video. Kind of like this free YouTube video. <laughs> you were... You guys still there? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I thought I lost you for a second. It's funny how each pose is like a different way of uh, solving it and not always the same. I don't want to distract you, Bobby, but if you could you, uh, put your audio a little bit higher, like yours and K, and that's, that's good. <laughs> I don't know if it's possible, but just then you know. Oh, okay, I could turn the other one down a bit. Is is it for Discord or for YouTube? Uh, YouTube. Okay, I'll just turn Anthony's uh, Anthony down. Anthony is a okay. okay. no, no, Anthony is good now. Otherwise, we don't hear him. So then, then leave it. If if you guys can't up it, it's 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 fine. <laughs> okay, I've turned my mic up to max currently, um, but K and I are sharing a mic, so. We'll just try yeah, to talk maybe louder. Yeah, maybe Yeah. Oh yeah, maybe that is. Yeah, this uh, this stuff is just for fun, everybody. So I don't have like a giant team or anything. I um doing the tech stuff behind the scenes, not like um at Lightbox. What's Lightbox? You say? <laughs> <laughs> if you mind, I, I'd love to do my little plugs um, about Lightbox, because Lightbox uh, Expo 
that's the place where you would pretty much see everybody on your on your Instagram feed you know it's like all the artists behind your favorite stuff including amazing artists like Anthony Francisco um, and it happens on October 14th to the 16th October 14th to 16th I should make sure I keep that open are we uh, going um, I don't know if you talked about it I don't in know if person. you sent me stuff yet. yeah it's going to be in person mm -hmm. yeah here we go this one seems a lot easier seems <laughs> yeah it's going to be in person it's going to be in Pasadena California and uh you know we're back it's been since 2019 we haven't been back together live in person um I think it's just that one time right and then the yeah pandemic. it was like that one time and everybody's like yes i found my convention and then we didn't come back Aww. for like two years so sad two years man it's so or crazy how that more because we we did two lightbox online um and before anybody starts asking which i'm sure everybody's already asking are we going to do lightbox online again because they love lightbox online we love lightbox online we're going to be doing that that again as well um but not this year okay because uh there's so much bloody work that goes into Lightbox. Like I'm so full time on Lightbox right now. Uh, there's just tons and tons of things. And then there's um, the online version of Lightbox, which is just as much work, if not more, actually, because we have it's so many more people and different time zones and such. So, you know, please pass it on if people are like, uh light box blah blah blah. it's not gonna be on line anymore it will it will eventually but right now we need the time to put in that effort into the uh, in-person light box again so that it kicks some serious butt and uh is yeah. amazing I love how we're all doing such different styles and different approaches. Yeah. That's so But yeah, we're definitely gonna do Lightbox online again in the future. Cause that was fantastic. Like, totally love that. And that's how this whole Discord community came about it as well, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy I, how much people came to when I did my portfolio review. I was like so surprised, like a thousand two hundred people came to the Discord. <laughs> I was like, yeah, wow, cool. yeah. that's great. Yeah, I was like, oh, I have a Discord now. <laughs> <laughs> and I usually just use it for games, really. I, I didn't even know what Discord was until uh, Patricia came into my life. <laughs> oh yeah, how did that... So, uh, it's, through, I... it's through those, uh, you know, it's through these streams. It's through these streams and then Patricia reached out to me, which is why everybody, you know, don't wait. Just ask for what you want. Go for what you want. Don't wait around. Um, yeah, and she approached me and I was like, what is Discord? <laughs> or something like that. And then pretty much she educated me and I was like, holy smokes. And now she works, you know, for uh, Lightbox full time. So ask for what you want. Yeah, for sure. It's always it's so cool. I'm glad we met too. Through Lightbox, <laughs> right? And then I think the first time we, we hung out a little bit was during Halloween. 
<laughs> yeah, I remember. You came in with a really uh, uh, scary story, and uh, uh, I, I think you you arrived like at the last moment that Bobby left. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, I was trying to catch Bobby. Yeah, and we were going on, I think, for quite some time, Bobby. Do you remember, like, hopping on Zoom, then on Discord, and a bunch of people uh, telling uh, ghost stories? <sighs> and, uh, and and a certain um, time, uh, like, Bobby pooped out. <laughs> and, uh, well, and I stayed on, and then Anthony came. Uh, and we had good, good fun. Oh, good that's time. awesome. I wish I was so fun. I wish I didn't miss it. But I think it was like really late or something at that point. Oh right? yeah, I think we went like until the next morning and you were still here probably, I think maybe oh, before. I that don't know sounds familiar. how late it was. <laughs> yeah. This guy again. Different pose. Oh, he's holding it really well though. He's very still. And then you see the, you know, behind the scenes, he just holds it for one second, <laughs> and then you fall. I realize these fast sketches, I, I can't talk and draw at the same time. Like, oh, same. Oh, same. Yeah, it's like it's just to focus. That's okay, you could totally just focus. A lot of times we're not even talking. Yeah, yeah. That's that's another thing that's uh, my problem is I I like to talk too much. <laughs> that's why we invited you. <laughs> you do all the talking for us. You have the gift of gab. Yes. like good exercise overlaps. It's a lot. It's a lot to take in. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot. That's great. I love it. Yeah, but it's like, you know, the times, so it's like, ah, that, what's the, the main through line? What's the energy line here? And then Kay's doing yeah. color. It's no. Jeez. Like, I'm just doing. <laughs> That's hardcore. It's when you yeah. start busting out some color on this, on a five minute pose. Uh, I'm not smart. That's what. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> just practicing. No one believes you. <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh, that's the that you're saying it again. Uh, that's your YouTube channel. Yes. What's that? You're listening oh, to a YouTube hear. channel too. No, I, I could hear. hear uh, I don't know. I could hear the echoing of the YouTube. The YouTube video. Oh, oh. really? Maybe that's in Discord somewhere. I don't hear it though, so hopefully, uh... Yeah, I, I got some responses. Apparently me and um, uh, uh, Anthony, uh, we both are a bit like doubled when we speak. Uh, so there's probably something wrong with maybe settings or I don't know what's up. Maybe it's Discord. Uh, but yeah, the, there, are, there are some audio issues, I believe. Maybe we should check that for next time. I don't know, like here you sound very clear, it's just the YouTube. And same goes for me, I, I usually it works, but... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I thinking about it but I have no idea because I'm only connected through discord so. Bunny's sitting and the bunny's trying to escape. Bunny's trying to hang out with us. So I'm, I'm drawing and trying to keep this bunny contained <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> By the way, uh, you know, we're talking about um, Lightbox Expo. Uh, well, applications, if you are interested in getting a table at Lightbox Expo, uh, applications open up on the 28th. So I, I believe that's Monday. So get ready. Make sure you sign up for the Lightbox Expo newsletter if you want to stay in touch. And uh, make sure you don't miss out because it, it, it can be very difficult. I just want to mention that now. It can be very difficult to get a table at Lightbox Expo. There's just so many people that apply. Um, and in the end, there's lots of people that are totally qualified that can't get in just because we don't have enough spots. So, but try, you know, it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. It's definitely a reason why everybody applies. Um, just know that it can be a little difficult and it can be in the end a little bit of luck as well um, yeah but if you do get in get ready for the time of your life it's gonna be good times yeah
Yeah, and also, uh, if, for those of you that don't have a giant following, you know, that don't have um, really cool accolades like uh, Anthony Francisco here, uh, still apply because we're always looking for bright new shining stars to put the spotlight on. your email you want to tell everybody? This is me. Last uh, five minute drawing. This guy. This guy again. Guy. <laughs> Showing off the flexibility. <laughs> I could still do this. Patricia, just to let you know, we can see your cursor. Okay. I don't know if you could hear him, but he's just knocking everything over. He's happy. He's super happy and just can't stop running. Did I miss something? You have a rabbit? <laughs> yeah, we're, we're bunny sitting for our nieces. <laughs> Aw, that's so cute. It's so it's much fun. It's very cute. I love bunnies. Well, now I love bunnies again. This one is so cute. <laughs> Oh, you didn't love bunnies before? Uh, you know, it yeah, it kind of bit me. But now I, I feel really bad about those bunnies because those bunnies, <laughs> at first they were very docile. They're my brother's bunnies that I was talk I'm talking about. Um, and then he let he he had he had somebody bunny sit for them for him. And then when he came back, the bunnies were different. They're yeah. all like skittish and like. Um, you know, would bite. I'm glad you didn't say they were dead, because at first I, was, I thought you were say they were dead. Oh human. my goodness, that'd be horrible. What kind yeah. of stories you got, Anthony? I was trying to mess up to go into the horror. <laughs> well, yeah, uh, they weren't dead, but they were really just super scared of everybody afterwards when before you could pick them up and everything they're so docile but yeah now I feel bad for not liking them after that 
They were misunderstood. Yeah, it's just misunderstood. They got scared by somebody, whoever was bunny sitting. Okay, for a while I was uh, so scared of uh, guinea pigs. Guinea pigs? What? Oh, because yeah. they bit you or something? Yeah, we had a hairless guinea pig that we loved so much. We were so sad when he was gone. Like, for the longest time. <laughs> Still sad just thinking about it, actually. Yeah, how long did they usually live? Uh, well, guinea pigs and skinny pigs are different uh, with lifespan. Um, like, our skinny pig lived six years, which was quite a long time for a skinny pig. to 10 minute poses now. Take that into consideration. 10 minutes. Boom. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> That's different. Starting off with the, the portrait of a yogi. Color anyone? Does this kind of shout color to you, Kay? Oh, yeah. I think so. I'm gonna have to. Colors here are so cool, huh? It's so vibrant and neat. There's a question on Slido from Anonymous. Uh, do you think we have a couple of 90 max steering light bulbs? Uh, <laughs> that would be fun. That would be fun, but difficult. <laughs> yeah, usually I'm like barely even sleeping during light box. Um, but I'll, I'll definitely keep it in mind if we can. That'd be really cool. We will try. And some people are very excited in the Discord, and they're asking, please show us the bunny. <laughs> oh, shoot. We want to see the bunny. Um, how do we show the bunny? I don't know. Uh, where is the bunny? Inside the... Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't see it for a sec. Show me the bunny. <laughs> On the topic of animals, uh, next week we have our topic already. It's going to be um, lizards. That's what it's going to be. So, you know, dragon lovers, come on down make them into dragons. That could be really fun. Just want to keep on joining us every week. Anthony! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> this is fun. Do. Yeah, the, the one after that is going to be um, pageants. Because I found these cave 
gave me these awesome pictures from like Mr. Global. Uh, it went kind of viral last week. And then oh. these other pictures from uh, Miss Mexico that I got from like years ago that were just spectacular and didn't know what to do with them for the longest time. So that's going to be really fun. Yeah. Lots of good stuff. Okay, shoot, got to turn this into something soon. Um, just a little reminder, everybody, we have a little bit less than uh, four minutes left. So who's the fastest uh, artist at Marvel, you think? <laughs> Uh, everyone's fast uh, in their own way. Uh, I think sometimes it depends on what you're doing. Um, oh, okay. That yeah, makes sense. Yeah. I can't tell really who's fast and who's not. Mm. Who's the fastest uh, artist you know in general? Oh, um... I think John Park's pretty fast. John Park? Yeah, he's pretty fast. And yeah, I can see that. See. And he's fast too, um, but it's an environment. So, you know, they just be doing environments. Yeah, because I get four hours, you can feel like come up with it. And also with design, you know, you see if the design in there, that's where people kind of slow down. Yeah. To design. How fast can you design? Yeah. So I noticed when um, some newer people mm -hmm. come into the industry and, you know, they're fast, they've got the good design and stuff, but once you're in there and you're like under pressure, the next thing you know, it gets so much slower. Oh. Yeah, especially if, if you haven't, haven't had any uh, cruels, then, then you kind of second guess yourself and you kind of think, well, man, I gotta like really focus. But I would say the best way is just to not think about it, just go with your gut. So every time you go drawing the painting, easier said than done. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Well, if you consider me fast, Kay's faster than me, so mm -hmm. Kay must be super fast. Yeah, I remember doing the Natty Mac with um, with Eric Canetti. He was so quick. He laid things down so bloody quick. It was insane. Because they got paid per page, right? Well, not Eric. He's, I don't think he does comics anymore, but... Um, comic book artists, they get paid per page, so the faster you draw, the faster, you, the more you're making, really. So you need to yeah. get fast to be able to survive, at, you know, doing it for a living, really. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. How long did you do comics for, Anthony? Did um, you do them full time? I never, I never did comic book. I was just a uh, costume artist. Most. Oh. 
<laughs> my bad yeah. i don't know why i thought that maybe because i just kind of figured a lot of uh the people at marvel did comics before or something or yeah i think the only person that did comics story was, artists uh, anyways yeah he was just andy andy's the only one that comics with us Oh. Um, I think he went to cosplay. Oh, okay. Yeah, all of us, I think we were all, everyone else were all like trying to be cosplay artists. Um, I guess so when I started. started. What? Oh, like from the start, you guys wanted to, everybody was pretty much wanting to get into concept art. Yeah. I think um, Ryan, uh, he was doing beats for a little bit. Because um, when he went, when he went to the center, I was already uh, on uh, my special effects jobs and stuff. And I, one of my very first ones I worked on was Bubble Boy. <laughs> um, I, awesome. I can't oh. believe he was the Bubble Boy. You know, that's so funny when you think about it now. Yeah. Yeah, I was just doing these bubble designs that, you know, everyone, and it was interested, they could check out the special features of bubble one, and I have some sketches there. <laughs> oh, jeez. That was difficult, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, next 10 minute pose. That was a fun one. Yeah, that was good. 10 minutes. Good practice. All right. Wow, this body is just seriously. Life goals. Life goals to be able to do something like this where I can smell my feet. Stomp in the head. Stomp myself in the head. classes <laughs> did you hold on hold on we can't just glaze over that you yeah. you snuck into art center and took their classes that's awesome but did you did you know people there to help sneak you in or you just bold faced went in by yourself Security is last. <laughs> uh, 
and then more, met more people and then that's when I think I even met Kang over there, Kang Lee and Chris Appelhan. Chris Blond. And did you so when you met those guys, you were in classes that you shouldn't be in. Is that right? Uh, I was Oh, that's funny. Don't worry, yeah. nothing's gonna happen yeah. to you now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, because um, I really want to dive yeah. into this. This is yeah. very yeah. interesting. Yeah. I said, I really want to dive into this. I'm not letting you go on this one. I, it sounds so interesting. So, like, when you met Kang Lee and, uh, and Chris Oppelhans and stuff, did they, did you tell them that, yeah, I'm just sneaking into this school here. You know, they thought I was a student there. So um, did you, why did they think that you were a student? Did you go as far as going, yeah, I'm in whatever course. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. Uh, uh, what happened was, uh, for, for this particular part where I met them, it was, um, I had another friend, uh, Jared, Jared Morantz. I uh -huh. know since, um, he was like 13 and uh, going to associates in art. And uh -huh. then he started going to art center. And then that's, uh, and then I just visited him there one time. And he said, he said, do you want to be part of my project? Like this is group project. I don't go to art center. It's okay. Cause the people he's with sucks. And he needs like some people to help the project look better or oh. something like that design wise or something oh you know and i said okay let me you know let me just give you some stuff i've already drawn and then next thing you know my stuff is up on on the on the wall i'm uh, not taking um <laughs> yeah just so uh we could have a better uh because one of the guys that like totally ripped off on great moments just got his painting and uh, i don't know who it is and uh but yeah uh he was um uh, so we had our stuff up, and then we were going to everyone's work, and then I was even there at the beginning of the class <laughs> with, uh, um, what's his name? Uh, Scott Robertson was the teacher at that time. Oh, wow. That was a long time ago. Um, yeah, and, uh, and uh, Shelly Yuan, I think, was there, too. Whoa. Heavy hitters there. Yeah. They have this, I think it's called it. Alpha something, Alpha Ace or something. They had a, a girl show of almost like a, a Charlie's Angels type anime that they were like developing the class. Uh, Mindy was there too, Mindy Doodles. Oh, no yeah, way. A, cool. Yeah. Also, sorted there, I think. Wow, what a time. So many uh, yeah. very accomplished uh, artists now, or leaders in the space now. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah. And then that's where I met Kang, and then I even met uh, um, uh, Jackson Zay there too, brought me, went to Belle, he's still a student there. Um, oh, wait, if he wasn't there yet, sorry, there's someone. And Chris Toplon, and then they invited me to just hang out, draw more, and like do this, but with concept art, you know, um, spaceships and all that stuff. And then we, we just started playing poker more often. <laughs> so they don't even do their homework. Cool. Wow. Okay. Wow, you yeah, just saved so yourself $200,000 by sneaking uh, into those classes or whatever. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I didn't go the whole time, but uh, but no, that's what I end up like just learning something. Um, but I I don't really get to stay inside all the classes because you know I don't have that uh, you know I don't want to get caught or anything. Oh yeah. Like, so go some of the time, get some ideas, and then you know talk to the students. They tell me stuff. Uh, I also, Kevin Chen also was there, Hong Lee. Wow. Like in college, I would sneak into classes that I wasn't enrolled in, but I was enrolled in the school. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I was in, enrolled in the school and all of the school. Yeah, that's, that's next level. <laughs> <laughs> I thought... I reached the next level, yet there was another. <laughs> and they gave me some good advice, like some of them there, because um, there was a point where I was already in the industry and I was still hanging out there sometimes. Um, I think that was the time when I met Tank. I was already doing. Um, I was in, in Black. I was in Black too. Cool. you know, school of hard knocks kind of sneaking into or knocks. <laughs> it's a different kind of education. Yeah. But it is like, it is amazing how many incredible artists came out of Art Center, you know, like just within that one, you know, little duration that you were talking about. Holy smokes, like you're naming everybody. Yeah. Yeah, that was really, and yeah, all. And the people I met there when I started working. Oh, this guy again? No, sorry. Should be this guy. Did we do this That's one that. before? Ooh, she oh, has yes. a bunch of poses. We did that earlier for the five minutes. Oh no, she. It's the same pose but on grass, I guess. Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay, is this okay? I, uh, I'm just realizing yeah. this now. Yeah, it's nice. Okay. Yeah, it really is amazing. And also, you gotta you gotta mention the fact that Scott Robertson was at arts center at the time when all of these amazing artists that were attending our center you know became incredible right like oh, yeah. i i feel like having him yeah. there was like a giant reason why so many amazing artists uh, came out of that school scott robertson mm -hmm. i could see that yeah I'm sure he was a very intimidating teacher. I, I love Scott, but <laughs> if I imagine him as a teacher, I, I'd probably be like, yikes. You just don't want to disappoint. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. And when your teacher can draw like Scott Robertson, that's, that's something else. Yeah, he's one of the first ones, uh, I think. Craig Mullins also went to Art Center. Yeah, yeah. Um, he did a few uh, talks over there when I first met, met him. But I, I, I never got to get to one more. Also, uh, so, Sid did Mead. Didn't Sid Mead yeah. go to Art Center? I think or, so. Well, all, all I know is like uh, I've heard stories that Sid Mead would come to Industry Day when he was, um, you know, when he was around. Yeah, it's the same 
I remember it called Super Thursday. It's funny, I feel like I'm for our center, but I really am not. <laughs> You're the honorary student. Yeah, that's what they would say, because they would know me being there. Uh, and yeah, you're like our center guy. Aren't you our center? Oh, no, I think I graduated college. You beat the system. But I remember you at our center. That's like a mistake yep. for someone else. You're like, yes. Yeah, that's the ticket, Art Center student. Yeah. I remember. I also, uh, uh, Andy Art actually told me I, the first time I met him, was at Art Center before he, um, he took me and Kevin's class, uh, character design class before, and I couldn't remember meeting him. That's funny. I went to Sheridan College, and that's where Domishi went. Director of Turning Red. So not oh. too bad either. Not too bad either. Yeah, and your, your college is... I met a lot of you really good artists from your college, too. Sheridan and uh, the Wing Wing, but mostly Sheridan. Oh, nice. Yeah, uh, the legendary so, Spaz Williams went to Sheridan, the one that um, animated the dinosaurs for Jurassic Park. You know, against oh. uh, the will of George Lucas, or the wishes of George Lucas, you know, did yeah. it in incognito and then change the system yes of course you have to end but hey the amount of people that have taken schoolism classes and become incredible artists outnumbers yeah. both of those schools so haha <laughs> Yeah, I love, I love the school of the classes. I, I took one of them myself. That's the Sumi. Oh, That's yeah. Yeah, I've taken That's that one. That one is so good. Um, really changed well, my way of painting. Uh, talking about schoolism, there's actually a question on Slido. Um, what is the future plans for schoolism? Big fan of the platform, and do you have any new courses coming up? Uh, yeah, so we, let me just see which courses we could talk about. Um, there's a lot of new courses in the works, but I'm not sure if I could talk about any of them just yet, because it's like a lot of the people that we ask to do courses on schoolism are like the people that have zero time, high in demand. And so a lot of times like they'll start the course and then have to stop the course and then start it back up again. <coughs> Carl Ortiz, uh, what? Um, and so, you know, after a while, I was like, I'm not going to say what's coming out until it's totally ready. But what I can say are the uh, webinars that are coming up because Schoolism subscribers get access to exclusive webinars that we do weekly. So this coming Friday is going to be, um, it's going to be Marcelo Vignali, you know, Into the Spider-Verse, uh, a lot of Disney films, um, Cloudy with the Chance of Meatballs, I don't know, there's so many. He, he Lilo and Stitch was one of my favorite projects he's ever worked on. Um, but yeah, and then after that we have, uh, Christine and Colin Poole, uh, so they're, they are fine artists, sculptors. And then coming up in the distance, we got, we got people like, uh, let me see here, Aaron Saud, who is a story artist that worked on Into the, no, not Into the Spider-Verse, uh, coming, 
that Spider Man Coming Home uh, movie that came out recently. No Way Home. No Way oh, Home. No. You know, can I take a break for a second and say, like, what happened to the one and two? Like, Spider Man 1, two, it's so much easier to kind of just remember it that way instead of like no way home coming home uh far from home ran away from home <laughs> you know i guess the conversation to make sure what what would differentiate us from all these other movies so i want to confuse it for anything but then you forget <laughs> it's so confusing home. Home. yeah home alone uh, yeah, I forget what we were talking about before that. <laughs> Inspire, uh, was this, uh, someone gave me a class. Oh, right. So webinars coming up. We have uh, Eliza Ivanova. Holy smokes. Amazing. Uh, Don nice. Carlos from uh, Lucas Arts. Um, we have... Uh, Ashley Swidowski, holy smokes, from video games. Um, we have, yeah, I was saying Aaron South, the uh, storyboarder extraordinaire. Um, who else? There's a lot, you know, it's every week, every week there's a new webinar for, that's exclusive to Schoolism subscribers. Um, yeah don don i've i've known for years and years i think since uh since they're a student i think I, i'm not totally sure Okay, so on to the next. Last, last uh, ten minute pose here. Ooh. He's cool. Doesn't this look cool? I like this one. Yeah, one of the courses that I can talk about that are coming out is, uh, I was mentioning Aaron Saud, the storyboarder on Spider-Man, uh, The Boys, uh, Godzilla vs. Kong, and a million, a million billion other films. Um, he has a course coming out where, which is storyboarding for live action films. Yeah, so that's going to be a, a really great one from one of the most sought after storyboard artists in the in the industry like literally
Is there a, is there like an anime expo there you know, where you live? Yeah, there is. Yeah. I've been there one time. Um, but that was it. So I, I don't know too much about it. It's called uh, Anime North, I believe. There's someone over here. Uh, I think someone over there was gonna. Oh, nice. Do they dress up or anything? Yeah, they all have to do the cosplay. Oh, cool. Have they ever cosplayed any of your characters? Uh, no. They just do, uh, uh nothing Marvel, it's all like anime cosplay. Ah. Uh. This bunny's a handful. <laughs> it's just trying to escape. Uh, we just put him in the living room, so he's not in a cage. <laughs> <laughs> so it's probably the wrong move, but uh, it's okay. He's enjoying himself. On Slido, there's a comment. Not a question, but I'd love to see an interview with the frouts in the future i always admired their handsome films with who brian Froud? yeah the frouts oh oh, oh the frouts that might be possible it, it might be kind of tough but might also be possible so good one yeah Yeah, there's actually a whole bunch of artists that I haven't mentioned yet that are doing uh, schoolism webinars coming up. Uh, another one that I just remembered is uh, Arthur Fong. The amazing, incredible Arthur Fong. Oh, rich fan. <laughs> yeah, the art of uh, Crude's art book. He did the cover. He didn't just work on the film. He also did the cover. He was also a production designer for Wish Dragon for a bit until uh, Shelly Wan, who we just mentioned, uh, took over. Wish Dragon, that's the one that uh, Chris Oppelheim directed. Yeah, yeah. And there's this other uh, visual development artist on there. What was her name? She's so good. It's Kay. <laughs> Kay worked on it too. That's awesome. Okay. <laughs> That was a fun project. Yeah, he finally got to direct something I'm like that. Yeah, for so long, he's been Chris, trying to get that. He's like such a smart dude. Yeah. You just can't beat me in poker. That's oh. Oh. You know? oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Come out here. This one sucks. Yeah. Huh. Same Nighty Mac of trash talking. I, see. <laughs> I like it. We did have him uh, to interview him some, he in my podcast. Just the last day. Oh. Me and um, me and uh, Alex uh, Andrzejew. Uh huh. Uh, we've we've been wanting to start a podcast together. I don't know if you know this, but he's my. Uh, He's soon to be my brother-in-law. 
I yeah. yeah I remember that. I remember that. That's yeah, cool. so uh, we we've been talking about oh let's do a podcast together, let's do this, this and that and we just yeah, we'd be practicing on our own, just talking and recording it. Like, oh when can we do this? But it's hard. It's hard to get to the point where oh this sounds like it's ready. Oh, trust me. Also it's like it's like uh, once you start it, you kind of have to keep going with it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm so busy at work right now. And it's like, do you really want another thing? <laughs> yeah. Those are like the questions that went through my mind, anyways. Yeah. What did you um? Um. Did, was how many years before it felt like okay this is easier now I could maintain the what I can't oh yeah I'll I'll let you know when it happens when I feel like oh yeah now it's so much easier (laughs) it's like it's like things only get um, harder so then. That's why, like, older people, uh, you know, that have been around the block, they've been around for a minute, it's like the common thing that they do is they're far more, you know, good with their time, right? Like, they're able to... Yeah, I'm not really bad with their time, but... Well, look at, and look at, like, uh, painters, right? Oops. A lot of painters... We'll just keep going. Um, this is the last pose, okay. everybody. Oh. But we'll just keep going. Okay. Because uh, I put in a double p- like a pose that was already in there. Um, but you notice, like, painters, they tend to use less brush strokes as they get older, right? And their art tends to simplify. I'm being very general, but it's yeah. very seldom that you would see an artist that paints very simplified and then as they get older they get super detailed it's true right it's it's generally the other way around and then when i ask storyboarders it's like how can you tell if a storyboarder has been around for a while compared to an amazing new storyboard artist that's amazing right and they all say the same thing the more seasoned storyboard artist has less storyboards (laughs) <laughs> they could do more with less. Uh, so, yeah, I, right? I, I, Imagine what you could do now with what you know uh, if you were 21 again and you had the responsibilities of a 21-year-old. Yeah, it, I definitely um, I relate to that because... Um, in, in the point where, you know, I, I love to still draw, but if it's a work thing, uh, how can I not do too much and still get the design approved? Um, um, this, you know, save your time. It's like giving so much of your whole life to a company. After mm. uh, like nine years, and then you're like, okay, relax a little bit. That's <laughs> sick. Well, and also we just get better with um, like knowing how much time, how much effort do we actually need to get, you know, put into something for it to work, right? And I find when I was in my, like, when I was younger, then I, I felt like I was using way too much time and energy in everything. Yeah. It's like you think more is it will get better with more, but really it's efficiency that will make it better. Yeah, it's like only if if uh, you had more energy as you got older, <laughs> like the world would be so different. Uh, yeah.
There's a question around like Lightbox Expo and uh, how to sign up for the newsletter. And best to go just to the website Lightbox Expo and you can uh, enter your email down below and then you can sign up there. Follow the latest news. Thanks Patricia. sure and ringling college is another one that comes to mind what was the one that helen went to helen Inju chen went to in san francisco again kate it's, um, art center no it's it's the academy of art or something yeah yeah academy. oh yeah right. i've heard a lot of people coming through there as well Apologize, Anthony. Never apologize. Yeah. You go and you say schoolism if you want to. <laughs> yeah, and before we met, I think um, there's a few schools um, just that we actually met that I know of. And then finally, I forgot how we met. Just For you and me? Yeah. Oh. It was just on there. Yeah, how did we meet? That is weird. Yeah, I don't you remember. I feel like... I feel like Comic-Con, though. <laughs> I... Uh, Was it a Schoolism Comic-Con dinner? I don't remember dinner? either. My memory oh, was it was a Comic-Con dinner, yes. I think. Was it that? I think we just showed it there, yes. Yeah, so, you know, I didn't need to go. Oh, okay. Because some people... Yeah. Hmm. Or maybe it was uh, Helen and, and I remember they was with them when we went to that uh, to listen. Oh. Was with them. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking. I think somebody brought you t brought you to the dinner. Yeah. Yeah, I think. That could be better. Yeah, Comic Con? Yeah, because we would, yeah. before we would do the uh, schoolism, like uh, Comic Con Saturday night. It's the schoolism dinner. It's not that bad when both of you don't remember. It's far worse when it's like one of you forgot and then the other one totally remembers. Yeah. yeah. 
See, I'm trying to, like, I, one, one part of my memory is, like, I remember I went live, I think, and then you came on and you say, hey, and then that's one memory, but I'm not sure if, if we kind of go. Or, because uh, you also ordered my, my book clutch, and, and I, I knew that. Was Michael there? No, he doesn't go to Con. <clears throat> oh yeah, I, I didn't as far as I know. Uh, before that, he gets super kind again. Like, like just how uh, Andy told me he met me even before he took my class to the academy, and and I'm trying to remember it. And then as we talked about it, oh yeah, I remember now, oh, we introduced me. And so it's this famous artist that did, you know, a uh, uh, Tomb Raider. And I'm like, why did a Tomb Raider? And I didn't even talk about it, it's a college before. I just want to make a comment on the beautiful painting, Bobby. I must say, damn. Oh. You know, Bobby, so good. Thanks. I didn't do color, so, you know, this is what happens when you skip out on color. You get more time to paint um, the form. And the people are really enjoying to see, like, how all of you three are tackling the same subject, but in different ways. I love so. that. You know, <laughs> I absolutely love that. It it it's very inspiring like for the next time there's been so many times where i remember painting with zach retz and he was using a pencil tool i've never seen anybody paint with the pencil tool for the entire painting and then next thing you know i'm using the pencil tool <laughs> in the next round yeah, it's always fun to kind of change up yeah, I actually did a few different approaches with the different sketches that we had today. Um, if people want to rewind the clock later and take a look. Uh, but also, when Kay started doing the 90 Mac with me, my art changed you know so quick because Kay started doing color which nobody has really attempted with these short poses oh. you know and that made I me know, have I the confidence because, because of Kay, Kay. Yes. Oh, yeah you guys so nice <laughs> yeah it's like black and white is so much faster mm -hmm. the color is just a cheat <laughs> It's, it's, it's hard though, because you have to get that one note to the right tone and then the right. Yeah. Oops, what did I do? It's more like the opposite of a cheat, it just makes everything so much more challenging. Yeah. But this was fun though. The other yeah. thing that, um, that has really influenced me, Kay, when, when you started. Uh, painting and drawing on the 90 Mac is like uh, taking the time to stylize stuff. I wish I stylized this guy though. Not like um, it feels stylized. Uh, no, I felt like I just went ahead, <laughs> just did whatever. I was not thinking for next time. Yeah. And to stylize this one because I'm not better actor. <laughs> <laughs> that is the cheat, right? Stylize. I started this one off trying to stylize it, so that was really fun and it's a nice challenge. Oh, it's great what you guys have. Also, if it's okay before the time goes up, you know, like uh, if you like my sketching uh, viewers, I also teach uh, speed sketching on animals on schoolism. It's not sketching uh, yogis, but there's, you know, everything there is very much transferable.
gets my stylized. This gives him a sword. Yeah. <laughs> He's <laughs> ready. <laughs> The eighth eternal, or something. <laughs> Some people are asking uh, if they could get the references in high res. Uh, in the Discord in class files, we have the PSD file there, so feel free to download it there and uh, yeah, find all the high res images. Yeah, uh, for many of my images that I get, I, I go to unsplash.com, just so people know. It, it has um, copyright-free images that you can use, even for commercial use. And uh, of course, uh, in the end, they can upload it uh, on Instagram with the hashtag 90 Minute Art Challenge, or in Discord, we have a channel for it, so we can all see how it works. Yeah, thank you so much, Patricia. You're so awesome. You always Patricia like so <laughs> end up saying everything that I'm missing, and I know you're doing that on purpose. So I I really appreciate you. <laughs> Let's see if this these images just I'll save. Or or you just save to save the image, just file save, so I could post it later. Cause last time I didn't get to. Oh yeah, I'll send you the uh, I'll send you this as a PSD, uh, oh, okay. Anthony. That'd be cool. Cool. Yeah. So I think I think we could call this done. Yeah. We're pretty much done, <laughs> right? Okay. Well, I just want to thank everybody for tuning in. Everybody in Discord, everybody in YouTube, and our amazing team of mods that are always helping out. Thank you so much for being so helpful. Uh, next week, it's all about lizards. And of course, I want to thank my co-host, KS Dara, for gracing us with her presence and her amazing abilities. Always inspiring. And speaking of inspiring, the biggest thank you goes to our guest of honor here, the one and only Anthony Francisco. Thank Anthony, you, Anthony. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's always fun to be guys. All right. So catch you all next time. Uh, every Wednesday. Remember, every Wednesday, 9 a.m. Pacific time, 12 p.m. Eastern time. Next subject is going to be lizards. Take care and have a wonderful rest of your week, everybody.